A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy this streets of Salem. This crude drawing of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few weeks. police to refer to the weeks. murderer as the bell killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, the calling card the police have yet to Leading attach no any meaning or significance to, to has become synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding his murders. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? grow up on the streets, you start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak, find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. My name is Ronan. That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Dad, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price. Uh -huh. under arrest for the assault and battery, Vincent Coulter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Oh, yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me! Stay with me! Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. You need to slow down, man. All right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. in my body then maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up
Come on. Someone had to hear that glass shatter. I found you. Oh my god. Julia. I thought I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. I would give anything to be there with you. For us to be together again. But... But what? Not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. <laughs> Figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and a lot of oh, blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Lady, please! Damn it. Hey, you! Hey, can you hear me? Come back! Why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear, you, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts and maybe you won't get trapped here. 
What do you mean, gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating the more fragile of ghostly objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open door, or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over us. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. Who are you? Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. What do you mean, others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us, but lost themselves. They can never move on now and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. <sighs> wait, 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 there's more I need to know. Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird. Seeing your own body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real and which is the reflection. Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup? Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene. But it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case. And the next day. Until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. 
You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. You do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad. See what they've learned. Did you, did you see the man in the hood? I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I oh, see. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here. You gotta tell me something. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer enter a building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then, bam, 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 bam. Really, Seven to the chest. You really point have, blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> Ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, you live like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. I don't know what to do. Why is this always happening? All I wanted was to... Yeah, 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 I saw it. That man in the hood. Outside. Uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. thing is just weird. All of us cops just getting nowhere. have some clues. So that's my way in, and it's closed. Fantastic. Here's 
take my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Sure, you saw the whole thing, and that makes you special. Always looking out the window, sticking your nose in there. Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. Come back. Did I do that? Hey, hey! Come back! Those notes aren't for you. Great. Looks like some sort of code or something. All right, well, I made it up to the fourth floor before the police cart away the evidence.
Okay, folks. I need you to keep your distance from the scene here. Hey, Royals. You seen that little girl that lives here? If she turns up, you come find me. Got it? Even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. Investigating before I go somewhere else.
So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? Church is always your deal. Out the window. Gun me down in the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That girl is my only lead. I need to find her.
kill me, but I still hate heights. Baxter hated the guy. I think the hate was pretty mutual. Ronan was a little rough around the edges. But Baxter? He isn't exactly Mr. Cuddly. Yeah, but... You don't think he'd... I mean, a fellow cop. Or anybody. In this job, I'm surprised less every day about what people are really capable of. Listen, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people in this rowboat. Everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mata Hansen. Well, that's a start. Let me see what I can do. this around here. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. sank, her body was never recovered. What was she doing on a rowboat?
be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. When the model handset went down, she wasn't a victim. She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the mono handset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, you, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your rowboat capsized. I can't swim. So I must have drowned. I'm sorry. No. D don't be. Thanks to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. <laughs>